Well, today is officially the day we are chasing the unthinkable. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to the Kennedy Space Center and welcome here to Florida. We're chasing VMAX, we're chasing top speed. One thing I wanna point out, there are no engineers out here, there are no technicians. We got baby burlacker mounting up the GoPro. <laughs> he just checked the tire pressure, how are we looking? I didn't do that. <laughs> Did I do that? Did that? That was on your notes. That was on your list. You didn't read the script. I don't Rolls know what responsibilities. I signed. I don't know what I signed. We don't even know what the tire pressure is. And Sophia's in the driver's seat setting up the draggy right now. We have some scotch tape right now. So that it doesn't good fall off. This is the good stuff. This is the quality. Oh, this is not scotch brand. This is studio it's brand. The, it's the Canadian store. spec. The dollar store. Okay. Just as good. We got both brands. Yes. We got the slime brand and we got the uh, hyper tough. Hi just to make sure. So 43 PSI in the back, 40 up front on cold tires. 40, no, I got it. 2.8 bar, that's the conversion. Yes, sir. What is 2.8 bar? It's European, it's Canadian. Do you guys use bar or PSI? PSI, yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll, I'll go check for FOD. Foreign object debris. There we go. Yes, sir. We got the digital and we got the analog. Uh, uh, Do not uh, let air out. Do not, are you okay? You got this? You got a valve stem in your, I got that. Jeez, you just crunched it. This is a Koenigsegg part. <laughs> is it? I've got Auto Riley or Checker Auto Park or <laughs> Zone Auto, whatever it is. There's something about going VMAX next to the space shuttle. That's so sick. We're just doing a little bit of a warm up lap right now, just getting a feel for the air. If you can see how wide it is and how long it is. So we have 2.3 miles to run it. We have a mile to break. We're going to warm up the car, probably do a pass at 180, then 220, and then go full send. This is one of the craziest experiences though. We got brand new Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Brand new tread, they got they're 20 not, miles they're on. They're not glued. They used to have to glue them. On the Bugatti, yes. Tire Crazy. technology has evolved. Crazy. We have 100 octane race fuel as well. Unfortunately, my car cannot run on E85. It's got 1,030 horsepower. So we're gonna do one pass at 180, 190 miles an hour, just like a little warm up. And then after that, it's like it's like full send, baby. We're not allowed to catch on fire. We're not allowed to catch it's on fire. Not not allowed. Allowed to it's not, not allowed. Not allowed to die. Not allowed to die. Have fun. Go fast and don't, don't die. die. Yes. Yes, in that order. I gotta ask, when was the last laughing? time you put it on? When was the last uh, time you put it on? When I when I ran the Veyron. No, the proper answer is 30 pounds ago, bro. Oh. <laughs> 30 wow. pounds ago. Okay. Right there. Funniest part is we're taking a Koenigsegg top speed with a spare tire. Right. Right here. Yes. We're at the Kennedy Space Center, and this is the content we're getting right here. <laughs> a man sitting in front of his three million dollar hypercar, struggling to put on, you I know. I should have taken the shoe off. <laughs> Hike it up. <laughs> Why? Wow. I got it, I got it. Does it fit still? Whoa. It's just like a glove. Sweaty palms. Don't down. Don't want to create too much heat yet. Right off center line. That's it, that's 85. Here That's 140 miles an hour. Okay, here we go. 160. That's sick. 208 miles an hour, first pass. Got a little floaty, but nothing crazy. I wasn't on it. Brakes were no issue whatsoever. I got plenty of braking zone. What happened to 180? You I got carried away. 180 was so easy. My it's 15,000 feet. It's one of the flattest surfaces on planet Earth. Fun fact for you. Planet Earth? Planet Earth. Planet Earth is flat anyway. There's so a planet. Isn't that a. <gasps> wow. Okay, so Nick is one of the. Yeah, he's one of those guys. Overall, everything felt fantastic. Quick safety check right here, nothing popped off. The roof is good to go. We just got the rear deck lid open up to dissipate a bunch of that heat. Are we yes, sir, yeah, absolutely. That's pure cool life. It. Don't waste that stuff. That's no, good I stuff. No, I thought we were cooling the inch, dumping yes, it down, science. Sir. All the count exec, all the count exec executives are gonna be like, so next time you're on the car, don't bring that burlacker guy. He's an embarrassment to society. But actually, thank you for coming. I appreciate the support. Cause I am nervous and you have a way of lightening the mood. There was a oh. hawk on the runway? No. There was no hawk. There was a hawk no, in there. Wait, no, okay, I'm, no. Matt, there was, was there, there was a hawk. There was a hawk and you chased it, it off, yeah. you ran it off? He grabbed it, he grabbed <laughs> it with his hand. threw it off. <laughs> it's like, we'll talk about birds after. Get okay. you running, stay focused, stay locked in. Right. 230. Amen, brother. 240. 250. 
Yeah. Well, the crazy thing is we could start from all the way back there if we want to go 250. But wasn't too... <laughs> okay, too soon. Way too soon. We did some calculations down there. Oh, you were doing arithmetic down there <laughs> with, with chalk all the or weight, something? With all the weight you've added? Wow. <laughs> 240 is your That's max. That's two fat jokes in one video. Just I want to point out all of Sophia's snacks right now. Hey. You got everything. You got the he Nutella so biscuits. Good. You got the monster. You got the tape. You got the phone. You got your sons. This is incredible. I'm ready for anything. Prepped and ready to roll. Now, we got to do a quick it's wind for check. for science. She looks very scientific. And for science, we got to do a wind check because I see the wind sock right there, but... <laughs> Just see what direction your your beard and your hair is flowing. The eyebrow hair. The eyebrow hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so eyebrow it's a hair. Cross, yeah, you got you got a lot of eyebrow hair. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that was maybe, I mean, 225? I would hope so, but this thing didn't register right. 82! <laughs> we got 82 on the radar right here. Yeah, wow. I definitely think it was a little faster than that. <sighs> We're gonna have some words with James for 82. So round two was 216, draggy indicated. It definitely felt a little bit more squirrely. I'm looking at the windsock. We got a decent crosswind. It's also pretty hot out here. I'm guessing probably 80 degrees. Humidity is probably like 70 to 80 percent. It's uh, it's thick air, but uh, 230, baby. We got to get on it a lot sooner. In the sport of mountaineering, when you go over 8,000 meters, you enter what's called the death zone. Well, as far as speed, at 220 miles per hour, you enter the death zone. And I have to remind myself, this is one of the least important things I've ever done in my entire life. If I feel uneasy, I am gonna back off entirely. Because the crazy thing, at 200 miles an hour, you cover a football field every single second. A draggy indicated 220 miles an hour. The crazy thing, at 211, we had 8,000 feet to go. At 5,000 feet to go when I hit the braking period, I was at 220 miles an hour. So 211 to 220 over the course of 3,000 feet. It's wild how fast you travel distance-wise at 200 plus miles an hour. So this is the final run. We might be getting some heat soaking issues, so I don't know. Sophia's all nervous right now because there's gators out here. No, this yeah. is gator country. There is 4,000 wild gators here at the Kennedy Space Center. 4,000. You're here alone, but you're strong. Just remember, run in a zigzag pattern if one chases you. <laughs> zigzag. I'll remember that. <laughs> I mean, that was faster. That was, that was definitely faster. That was faster. You could smell it. That 100 octane. <sighs> Brakes, I don't know. Crocodile meat. Dude, you're walking like a champ right now. Pure champ. A champ? Oh, thank a you. Champ. Appreciate that. Look at that. Look at that view. Dude, I'm sweating. No, no, no. Move, move, oh, move, sorry, move. Sorry. Yeah, Look at that view. Uh, 224 is less than we were hoping to get. Less than. But we're alive, and that's good. Right. Oscar's got a dad still. For all the haters. Yes, yes, this, yes. This is probably weird for you. You're not holding the camera. For all the haters, this man, by himself, by his own car, came out here and was driving 224. 224. Anyone that's leaving a hate comment, come on. Come on. Call me up. I'll talk to you. Really? Yeah. His number is 747-697-47-1200.
five. It's 8,500 degrees. Humi yeah, 100 degrees. Yeah, just keep raising it up. The humidity is out of control. I mean, look at Soph's hair. The humidity has destroyed her hair. I was driving through a brick wall you at 224 floored. miles you an hour. floored. I was floored, foot to the floor. Between sixth and seventh on that last run, there was a little bit of a hiccup. We lost a little power. Maybe we could have gone 227, 228, but it's so hot out here. 224 miles an hour. Massive shout out to Space Coast Testing, to the Kennedy Space Center, to Burlacker, to Sophia, to everybody who helped. And of course, the Koenigsegg Agar HH. Will we come out here for round two for redemption? Yeah. Stay yeah. tuned. As far as cool views we've had outside of a car, that might be one of the coolest right there. The Kennedy Space Center. God bless America. Well, the adrenaline is starting to taper off now. 224 miles an hour. That's the fastest I've ever ridden in a car, fastest I've ever driven in a car in the Koenigsegg Agera HH. I think if the temperatures were like a little bit cooler, we didn't get as much heat soaking, the humidity wasn't so high, we probably could have touched 230, maybe 235 miles an hour. I will say this car though, I mean that was four hard passes, did not skip a beat. And smooth as butter right there, the Koenigsegg is headed back to Arizona. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Burlacker just pointed out, I don't think I've accentuated how hot it is. You are dripping sweat right now. It's not about me, it's about the car. No, it the affects heat's the car more than it affects me. I know. If this is how I look, the car. If I could do it over again, I would have done the first run all out at 8 a.m. There was no wind, it was 20 degrees cooler, the humidity was nothing whatsoever, but second, we had to set up all second, the cameras. Second, second run. We were setting up all the cameras. We got the track, we got the runway at 8 a.m. We didn't do the first run until like 9.20 a.m. because all the camera work, all the intros, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So next time I do it, I think two days, first day I go full send, and the second day is like, backup. you're ready to roll. It's a backup day. It's a backup day. It's a weather, you need weather. Weather, it's weather. It's, it's weather. weather, it's weather. Yep. Wet weather. Yeah, yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> that is. I was racing. I, I couldn't focus on sunscreen right now. I had more priorities in life than sunscreen. Don't die. Did I die? I didn't die. Have fun. We had fun. Yep. Go fast. Well, Could have gone faster. And don't die. We live to fight another day. You keep saying you could have gone fast. You maxed it out. You did. Ev you gave the car everything. Nobody's appreciating that. <laughs> Can we emphasize the fact you were full throttle the entire 15,000 feet of this runway? Your life is... Today's video is over.